Great Taste is brought to you by Cantor's Meats, the home of quality meats. Welcome back to Great Taste of Manitoba, where we are literally on a roll with Manitoba chicken. We have Gina Sunderland here tonight, and uh, we just had our wonderful pizza buns that we did with uh, beautiful Manitoba chicken, and now we are on to our chicken and ricotta lasagna rolls. I think everything mm -hmm. we're making tonight, super family-friendly, Yes. and I'm thinking that this is like a, a really great, almost like a Sunday night, weekend, kind of sit down mm -hmm. and, and dig in sort of meal. So it is. It's let's delicious get and decadent. Okay. You're so right. I think there's cream okay. involved. So there is good. cream involved. <laughs> So the way we start this recipe is with 454 grams of ricotta cheese, so one container, and a cup of chopped green chard. Hey, I was wondering what that was. Uh -huh. yeah, I guess you could maybe use kale too, like you could maybe yeah, fool around with that a little kale. bit. But, uh -huh. but chard is one of those things that you know I often look at in the grocery store and go, hmm, I don't know exactly. This is a great use of it. It's so healthy. Great way to use. So I'm just going to get you to stir those together I for can do me. That. Okay. Yeah. And then what I'm going to add to this is uh, two cloves of chopped garlic. Hallelujah. Lots of flavor. This is a neat recipe because you use the zest of a whole lemon. I was thinking you could it almost really call it comes out like chicken ricotta and lemon. Mm -hmm. was on, like, yeah, that's a it, lot it, of lemon. It's subtle, but it comes through. Right on. So a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper, one and a half teaspoons of salt. And a really lovely herb for this recipe is fresh thyme. So a tablespoon of fresh chopped thyme. If you have dried, you can use a teaspoon. And then for even more flavor, we add Holy. half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. That's amazing. So that is looking really, really good. And I love this recipe because it uses ground chicken. So then we right. add in a pound of our lovely ground chicken. So nice and lean, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, I'll get you to stir that in. I'm not work doing it fast enough. Oh, you're doing it perfect. I'm not well. the expert here, Gina. Oh, it looks excellent. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it comes together pretty quick. Okay. How's okay. that? I love it. Ish? Looks okay. Looks excellent. Okay. So then now we what? have fresh lasagna noodles. I can take that if you like. Uh, so we have our fresh lasagna sheets, and I've cut them in half. I just have a quick question. Mm -hmm. So we're using fresh lasagna noodles. Can, can you pre, like the lasagna noodles in a box, like can you cook those, or like how, well, like this recipe substitute? does actually work best with those fresh lasagna noodles, okay. and you can get them at most grocery stores now, okay. where you get things like tortellini and sure, that, sure. Mm -hmm. all so right. you just get the sheets, you cut them in half, and the reason is, is because all the flavors of our filling, as well as that nice cream we're going to add, really soak into the noodles, mm. and infuse a lot of flavor right into that pasta. Soaking into the noodles, mm -hmm. love it. Okay. So then we're going to take about two to three heaping tablespoons of the filling and put it at the end of one of the lasagna rolls and uh, let so, you help me out there. Okay. Yeah. And then it's just so easy. You just start rolling from one end. You tuck it in a little bit and you just roll it. And then I've started some for us already here. What did you tuck in? Just put this, the seam side down. Oh, you are doing it perfectly. Okay. Yeah, this is so easy. You are, yeah, that is great. Here, I can just take that one for you. Okay. And we'll just keep going here. Now, how many lasagna noodles for this recipe? Yeah, so we've got calls, six laid out here. Uh -huh, and it calls for 10 lasagna sheets. Okay. And then you cut them to fit your pan and about two rolls across in a 9 by 13 pan. Okay. That is ah, perfect. It's that's easy, fun. right? That's it's fun. really easy. I'm not yeah. going to lie. It's kind of fun. And then for even more flavor, we put a cup okay. of oh, Parmesan right. cheese on top here. Oh, all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of cheese. Lots of delicious And that cheese. lemon, I had like, it's just like, who is Isn't it's that so nice? nice. Yeah. yeah, and then we've got one and a half cups of whipping cream. Yeah, so this is a oh. treat. And just sort of zigzag it over the noodles. You want to get them saturated. How lovely is that? Mm -hmm. And you can top this at the end if you'd like with more fresh thyme and a little more Parmesan if you want. There we go. Fantastic. And this is just so easy. It goes into the oven at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Like that's not even that long. Like I know. It it's amazing how fast it cooks. Yeah. So when you make this for your family, which I assume that you have, are there ever actually any leftovers with this thing? <laughs> there is rarely any leftovers. Well, and, and so speaking of families, um, mm -hmm. it's like how, how many how many chicken farmers are there in Manitoba? Because I know this is a huge local industry. So talk right. a little bit about that. Yeah. So we're so lucky. We have 118 
family-owned farms right here in Manitoba that deliver fresh chicken to stores and restaurants across Manitoba and Northwestern Ontario for all of us to enjoy. So I think we're really fortunate. It's a great way to eat local, super nutritious. Well, super nutritious and also just in terms of versatility. Like there's literally, I mean, we've covered off so many recipes here as yeah. far as uh, Manitoba chicken goes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're always a home run. So there you have it, uh, our wonderful chicken and ricotta lasagna rolls. Lots of flavors in there. We had some thyme, we had some lemon, and uh, I can tell you that nothing is, you know, well, we've got our finished product here, right? We put the other one in the oven. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely beautiful. The, the, it smells so incredibly delicious. You've got to try this. Great taste, mb.ca. Um, so, uh, and we look forward to hearing how it went for you. Um, okay, so when we come back, tropical chicken taquitos? Yes, indeed. All right, here we are, Manitoba chicken, great taste of Manitoba. We'll see you in a minute. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by the Government of Canada and Manitoba Agriculture through the Canadian Agricultural Partnership.